In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Zero Shoes Umari Trail Sandals or River Sandals coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So we're going to be looking at some sandals today. And the way this came about is um, this summer I had a kayak trip with the Boy Scouts. And um, one of the things that we needed was some shoes that I could wear in and out of the water and pretty much, you know, all around. So I looked at several different brands. I looked at um, Chacos. I looked at Tevas. I looked at some, some different water shoes. And I wound up getting in touch with the folks at Zero Shoes. And you may have seen them. They were actually on Shark Tank. They were kind enough to send me a pair of their Umari Z-Trail sandals to wear. I got to tell you, I was really happy with these shoes, and I like them. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but let me just tell you how this whole thing came about. So um, we went on a sea kayaking trip in the Outer Banks with the Boy Scout troop. And so we went, we drove up there to North Carolina. I'm here in Georgia. We got out Monday morning anyway, and we, we paddled about four miles to um, Shackleford, shoals i think it is but it's an island where there are wild ponies and stuff it's really cool so we kayaked about four miles out there to spend the first night and the very first night it was driven home how important it was to wear shoes because one of the guys in the other troop was out there barefooted and stepped on an oyster shell and sliced his foot badly he had to have like internal and external stitches and they had to paddle him back take him to the emergency room um and he's he's out so it killed his whole trip because he wasn't wearing some shoes. Um, so that drove home to me the importance of having something underneath your feet when you're walking around out there because there's just, there's, some of those shells are sharp if you get an oyster bed. So anyway, that was the, uh, that was kind of like the confirmation that I'd done the right thing by making sure I had some good shoes. So what's the deal with these zero shoes? Well, first of all, again, these are the Umari trail sandals and they are very, very lightweight. That These are size nine, they weigh about 5.8 ounces each just very very minimalist these are like the next closest thing to being barefoot and that's actually how they were designed so let me give you a little quick background on the company we'll talk about why i, th I like these shoes so much and we'll wrap this up because they're just some sandals right but if you if you go rafting if you're in the river you can wear these things for trail or whatever they're, they're, they're very handy sandals so this company was started um actually in a, in a husband and wife's garage um he's like a barefoot runner so these shoes were he was actually making these shoes in his garage for himself and some of his friends and they kept catching on they said you know you need to start a company so he wound up they wound up starting a company they wound up getting involved with former head designers for Nike and Reebok and they came up with these um zero shoe design and this the first one was was not the Z trail it was the it was something else but they wound up going on Shark Tank you've probably seen that show and I think they got funded there and they wound up um now they got a very successful company so this is this like the second generation of their shoes it is the Umari Z trail they're even lighter than the first generation, and they're just very minimal. So as far as if you're wearing in a, in a raft or a canoe or a kayak or even on a trail, these things are made for trail. They've got a nice tread on bottom of them, very lightweight, very little, little hill cup here, but not a lot, not nearly as much uh, structure or substance as say the Chacos that I tried on, because Chacos are real popular. Those are the ones that got the little toe loop. Um, I mean, I was really looking for something that's super, super minimal, and this absolutely fits a the bill. These things are about 70 or 80 bucks, so they're kind of in between maybe Tevas and Chacos. Chacos are over 100 bucks, the ones I found. So let me quit rambling about these wonderful shoes, because I really do like them. Take you down the old stump top, we'll look at the details, and I'll tell you why I like them, and we'll wrap it up. Okay, as you can see, these have got a little bit of wear on them. Um, but what's cool about these, by the way, they have a 5,000 mile guarantee. So it's kind of like buying a set of tires. They feature a 10 millimeter, three layer, feel light sole that was developed in conjunction with the, the, the former chief designers of Nike and Reebok. So they've got a, a foam padding at the top, a little bit of cushion support on the inside, and they've got some traction here. Slight heel cup, and then all the, the webbing is, is is tubular webbing so it doesn't really have any edges on it it's just kind of rolled so it's i can tell you these things are very comfortable i've had some sandals in the past i think i had some tevas in the past that just, just want to rub my feet and we're not comfortable these are very comfortable they got a little um it's smooth right there it's all it's all smooth wherever it touches your feet there's no seams you can't really feel the uh the stitching i mean i can tell you these things are very very comfortable um even nothing absolutely rubbed or hurt or made a blister or anything else they got nice little keepers here like a watch band so when you get it adjusted the way you want it and i'm gonna try to get my foot up here and just show you how to put these things on because there's not a lot to them so uh, there's my beautiful foot and basically you just slide your foot through there 
and then the strap around the back it's got a velcro on it here and i like you know it's got a little room in here and you can kind of adjust them how you want to and pull all this up and then just tighten up like so and there you have it and this doesn't nothing hurts i mean this is absolutely 100 percent comfortable i can tell you that the one thing that that took me a little getting used to and actually that one of the co-founders said it was her, her first first experience with it was you don't really realize because they are so minimal and they don't really have a cushion or you know thick padding or cushion here they are very close to barefoot you don't really realize how hard you strike the ground with your heel when you're walking if you're used to wearing shoes or whatever you might have seen cody lundine talk about this on jill survival before you know he goes barefoot all the time and it changes the way you walk i can say after wearing these for probably two straight weeks now almost every day i seem to be walking a little softer when i first started wearing the first day man my heel was sore i realized man i'm slamming my heel down pretty hard when i walk i didn't even realize that but once i kind of started adjusting that and got used to it it's um man these things are just super super comfortable chug norris can lead a horse to water and to make it drink there we go nothing fancy about them um, they're just really simple basic minimalist type sandals really good for river sandals you can get them wet i wear them in and out of where they dry very quickly very protective on the bottom and yet they're um, very lightweight and very very comfortable okay that was a quick look at my zero shoes umari z trail sandals sport sandals water sandals river sandals whatever you want to call them they're just cool shoes um, i encourage you to go check out their website i'll put a link below their story is really cool they got a lot of interesting stuff on there they have several different models of shoes and they even have kits to make your own sandals and hurachis i think i said that right and different things so just a lot of really cool information and stuff over there at the zero shoes site um, i'll put a link to that below anyway i'll start rambling about the shoes now once again thanks to the folks at zero shoes for sending me these and as always thank you for watching survival on purpose thanks for subscribing if you haven't done so i invite you to i put out a brand new video every friday and every saturday and usually a couple of random ones throughout the week also thank you so very much for supporting this channel financially by doing all your amazon shopping through the survival on purpose links at survivalonpurpose.com forward slash Amazon takes you straight to regular old Amazon. You buy whatever you want to buy just like you normally do. Same price you would always pay, but it helps support the channel a little bit, and I really appreciate it. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time. Ten millimeter trap trap. They got like four different color combinations. I'm shopping. Sorry, bugs.